So you can anticipate a huge ring walk. And he said, Ronaldo seated ringside alongside his excellent ears. That is the host you see right there in the glass. Ants. Celebrities have been getting on planes and flying moment. A historic heavyweight event. Started from the bottom, now my whole team. Uh, he is. Fighting father, brother, he will have his vengeance. First for our host nation. This is only the national anthem for the United Kingdom. And officially begins tonight for top ranked boxing along with gimmick authority of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His edge is assigned to ringside from Canada season. From the kingdom of South, officially weighing in at 270. Francis! His official weight, 277.7. WBC heavyweight champion. God bless you both. So here we go. Cavagano. Framed against Tyson Fury, who looks like a six foot nine bag of milk. But don't let it fool you. He's a master of timing, he's a master of anticipation and distance with incredible skill. And he comes out with a right hand. What do you expect early on, Tim? Well, right now, Tyson Fury showing us right now he wants to be aggressive, he wants to put Engano on his back foot because when you force a, a puncher backwards and you put him on his heels you take his power away from him. beautiful right hand by Tyson Fury right there as Ngannou tries to step down to the body or stab down to the body with his jab Francis told us the other day when we sat with him he said the first minute I need to get a sense of pace I need to get a sense of range remember he's opposite a man there's Nagano coming in with the right hand who has an 85 inch reach does Tyson Fury and Gano's getting off to a quick start. He's already closing the distance already, making that ring small for Tyson Fury. There have been many critics about the chances that Francis and Gano had when it comes to the lack of experience and skill in boxing. Fury discounted that. He said, I don't think he's going to be that bad. This is a guy who goes five-minute rounds. He's been sparring for four months. He has great respect for what Ngannou can bring here. Yes, Tess, he has natural reflexes, muscle memory. When you can fight, you can fight. You have instinct. You can operate. That's what he's operating off. Ngannou, instinct right now. See, Fury take, might take a few rounds for Fury to wear him down. But Ngannou looks laser focused right now. And he has a plan. Ngannou testing distance with that left hand as Fury nearly crossed the threshold. Ngannou has a game plan. The game plan is the body. He wants to set up the hook up top. That's what he's looking for. But the jab to the body. Deontay Wilder had success with that shot early on. Deontay Wilder, former heavyweight titleist who had a tremendous trilogy with Fury and, of course, scored four knockdowns in their classic fights. See, most times, oh, that was a tail right there. Tyson Fury threw a feint right there. You saw the right hand of Ngana goes down. There's there a right the hand tail. from Fury that comes over the top. That's my point. Fury came with the left hand first, then the right hand after. Ngano comes over with the right hand. Fury able to turn away. 
jab off the hip from the six foot nine heavyweight champ. And Gano's in his fight. Jerry he just is. flicking out that jab at the moment. And Gano's steady on his feet and sturdy, not giving ground. Good opening round good between round. Fury and Ngannou. And always a little something extra from the Gypsy King. How you feel? Good? Yeah, keep controlling your energy like that. Use that jab, use those feints, okay? Uh, you kind of drifted to your left a little too much with that jab. Step straight, you're going to try to time that right hand. All he's trying to do is trick you with the left hook, okay? Keep going straight, punches, keep going up and down. The jab to the body, going to set your overhand right? Yep, I got that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get some hard now. You got to start doing it. Beautiful right hand by Tyson Fury. Again, taking advantage of that low guard. You see it. You saw it in the breakdown in the lab. The left hook first, the right hand after. They each landed three power punches in that first round. The best of it, that right hand from Tyson Fury. According to CompuBox, Francis was 6 of 23. Tyson was 11 of 25. Round number two. see Tyson old school he's moving towards the right hand that's the power hand of Nganu he's trying to take it away from him he's baiting him he wants him to throw the right hand so he can counter it see if Nganu is willing to pull the trigger as he works his way to the inside and Fury gets out to the right Nganu's reacting quicker than a lot of people expected including myself he has a quick first step when he decides to really deploy or shoot a shot. It's extremely intent. Look at There's that. There's a left like hand hook. from Nganu yep. as Fury was dipping in with that jab. And now a tie-up to get out of the corners. And Ngannou tries to fire the uppercut on the inside. And there's blood as Tyson Fury swipes at his forehead. And now Southpaw from the Gypsy King you as know, he shows him that right jab and right hook. You know what that means, right, Tess? Fury didn't like what he was seeing. So he switched southpaw, tried to confuse Nganu. And Nganu switched southpaw himself. Fury comes in with a power back left hand. A little bit of blood up above the brow line. There's that right hook as he was trying to catch Nganu coming in. So switching stances here in round number two. Both fighters test. That's right. A lot of mental battles right now for both men. Ooh, nearly a clash of heads on the inside. Fury pawing with that southpaw jab. Tries to go to the body and last second ducks in and brings Ngannou back to that neutral corner. Tess Ngannou was extremely strong. Fibri's going to have to let him wear down a bit. He should Re take his time. Box from the outside. Use his jab. Let Keep him burn up mind, some of that energy. That is one of the things that Fury opponents have struggled with through the years that perhaps Ngannou can stand up to. Fury loves to lean on his opponents, wear them down badly, take their legs away with that big frame and all that weight. He just threw a punch too close the distance right there and bodied up with Ngannou. And of two. You ain't got to rush in the shit. It's all about you getting your timing. You hear me? You got to get your timing on the shot first. You trying to run in and lunge and catch it? Fuck all that shit. Let your legs do the work by checking and pulling back. Touch four. Touch four. First, when he turned it, he didn't have to. You got it. There's the left hand from Nganu in round two. 
And that's the shot inside right there. The short. Beautiful work by him. And he's the clinch. On the forehead of Tyson Fury. As Frank Hopkins is handling cuts, he applied the grease. Live odds update brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. You see pre-fight, Fury was minus 1,400, now minus 1,200. CompuBox has Fury with an 18 to 12 connect advantage through two rounds. I think Ganu is handling himself extremely well at this point in this fight. The longer he's in his ring, he's dangerous, Tess. He's always dangerous. And that is really the difference in this crossover fight compared to what we saw with McGregor and Mayweather. At any one moment, one punch can finish it when you're this big possessing this much power. He tries to come in with the right hand, but instead follows it with the left. Making Fury pay for his mistakes. Fury has a bad habit of bagging out and dropping his hands. And perhaps a confidence builder for Francis Ngannou. And God was fighting like a man with a plan. He has a game plan. He has a strategy. His goal was to prove it, that he can box, that he's committed to this sport. Getting now Fury. switching stances again. Fury's looking for something, Tess. He's just looking. He can't get in his rhythm right now. There is that clinch tie-up that you referred to in yes. our pre-game segment, our pre-fight segment. The UFC-styled clinch of the body lock compared to the traditional boxing clinch. Fury said, that can actually create an opportunity for me. And Ganu, <laughs> he's so smart. I'm l look at the hand battle right here. And Ganu is in, in the orthodox stands, and he's battling the lead hand of Tyson Fury. And Tyson's having a hard time getting past that lead hand. Those are controls right there. And Ganu controlling the lead hand of Tyson Fury. Oh, he catches him off guard! Francis Ngannou has just scored a knockdown against the heavyweight champ! Anything can happen, it just did! Can you believe that? Yes, I can. Fury got sloppy, and Ngannou just scored a knockdown! Well, what do we have here, folks? My, oh, my. <laughs> I told you. And Ganu has a plan, people. And he's executing his game plan. Can you believe yes. what you... And Ganu right here. Fury throwing the left hook right hand from a little bit. Thing wow. can happen when you're this big. He's That's talked about as the hardest puncher in combat sports. He literally holds the current measured record on the power cube as the hardest punch in the world. As Alexander Usyk, who is sitting back with tens of millions of dollars lined up to fight Tyson Fury for undisputed status, is holding his breath. Round number four. This fight at this point, just by that, has already over delivered. As Ngannou now comes out with a right hand. And he's full of confidence, Tess, after that knockdown in the last round. He's saying, This is not so bad. I'm in here with the best. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm the best in the world. His lifelong dream of boxing. Since he was a child, watching Mike Tyson, he said this was always the goal, and he wants to deliver big time right now. Tyson got was outboxing a boxer. He's outboxing Tyson Fury right now. He's putting pressure on him. He's doing exactly what he wants to do. Tyson Fury still hasn't figured it out yet. 
That right. left hand by Nganu. The shocker so far tonight. Now on the inside. As they wrestle to the ropes. But on the inside test, where Ferry is usually most dominant, he's the stronger of the two. He feels that force coming back from Nganu. Nganu can handle himself extremely well in the inside. Veteran referee Mike Griffin taking control of things. Power back left hand from the southpaw stance from Fury. Ooh. Able to just separate enough from the right hand of Nganu. Tries to come over the top with a right of his own. The power of Nganu is throwing back the big body of the six foot nine Gypsy King. This is not long, skinny, wiry Deontay Wilder in there. Big right hand. Tyson Fury landed right on the ear of Vigano. He took it well. It's extremely important for Nganu to manage his energy. He doesn't want to expose too much energy this early. He's still got a lot of rounds to go. Two-punch combination from Fury. Another oh. one-two. Nganu trying you to see if he can shot. punch between punches. And now the jab. Flicking it off the hip. From range. On that six-foot-nine frame. Very now getting into good rhythm right now. Good groove. Landed a few shots back-to-back. -back. You see the hesitation now coming from Nganu. Trying to make an adjustment himself. He says, I'm going to go southpaw now. Sweeping right hand from Fury that Francis is able to get out of the way of. Closing moments of round number four. Moments ago, we showed you the live odds. Well, the world reacts when you do what Francis Ngannou did in round number three. Look at this. From an overwhelming minus 1,400 favorite to now down to minus 275. That's what it's going to come down to. Good technique. Don't try him too hard. Since we're seeing breathing, he got to fuck him. He got to pay for him. I don't want him breathing to be normal. Come on, you boxing now. Just quit trying to get goddamn greedy. You start mixing up the frame four backs, you're going to have him. He's going to reach in. You can't just keep going in and ramming the bull. You're giving him a chance by just throwing your shots. You got to get in and get out. He's going to start getting tired from holding his big ass up. The head trainer in that camouflage hat is Sugar Hill Stewart, as you see Manny Pacquiao, Larry Holmes, Mike Tyson, everybody ringside for this one. But Sugar Hill Stewart, the nephew of the late great Emmanuel Stewart from the famed Kronk Gym in Detroit. Big shot right there from Francis Ngannou. Let's check in with Bernardo. Puts him off balance. Francis has to stick to the game plan. He can't rush things. That's a big problem. He wants to land something big. Oh, Fury comes charging in. And then they wrap up on the inside. And this is what Fury was concerned about. Some of the awkwardness and the not conforming of Nganu, but he does break away. He just gets physical in the inside, Tess. He's doing nothing wrong. Round number five, and Ghana with that mouth open. What a performance he has put on so far. But then again, he has been silencing doubters and overcoming adversity his entire life, hasn't he? See, Tess, sometimes knockdowns can actually hinder your performance. Interesting you know, you point. Well, you're, you're fighting behind the game plan. Then you get the knockdown, then you start to get greedy. You stop thinking. You just want to land that big shot. That's what's happening right now to Ngannou. Love the physicality in the inside from Ngannou. Fury tried to go with the right hand to the body on the inside as well. And he's showing no respect towards Fury. 
But again, the longer this fight goes, it favors Tyson Fury. He's the man used to going. There's an uppercut just from off Fury. The mark. Just off the mark. He was looking for him to lean, Tess. He didn't lean that time. Fury has a very powerful uppercut. He's shown it with a one-punch knockout against Dillian White at Wembley Stadium. See if he can draw him in here. Instead, it's a right hand behind the jab. Tries to come in with another as Francis Ngannou fires back. I'm impressed with the chin of Ngannou. Big shots right there landing from Tyson Fury. Starting to find his mark. Ngannou slowing down a bit. Starting to see his technique go by the wayside. Another accurate jab from Tyson Fury as he is finding his rhythm here in the final minute of round number five. End of five. Friendship, 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 friendship. 